I'm the Gun Whisperer, and this week we're joined by former world dart champion Steve Beaton. We'll move on to the stand and we'll start shooting. Now you're a, a bit late, we can uh, we can try and catch up some time, okay? okay. This way. Right, well, Steve, you're back for another go, yeah? Yes. Good, so you've done quite well last time. So uh, let's see if you can replicate it this time. So uh, if you're good at clay shooting, if you're at darts, we shouldn't have too much to worry about. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't say that, but here we go. So when are you actually playing next? Um, I'm Blackpool this weekend. Oh, good. So, uh, yeah, the match plates on Sky. Yeah. So, good. Looking forward to that one. Oh, I'll be watching that then. I'll be uh, I'll be rooting for you. So, okay, right, earmuffs on, Steve. Because you won't be able to hear him call 180. Oh, can say <laughs> Why why do they call you the Gun Whisperer then? Because <laughs> I talk soft. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Steve, pick your gun up like before. We can start off just one cartridge at a time to start with. Now, close your gun gently, up in your shoulder. Tuck that in, that's good. Now lean against your barrier. We can start about here, yeah? Nose and cheek on the gun, like I said. Start slightly higher. Now when you've lined up with the bead on the end of the barrel, don't look at that, look at the clay. Your brain will automatically take your gun where it is and you'll just take the clay out. So keep this elbow just there, perfect, good. Move your left arm only, not your body, yeah? Okay, when you're ready, Steve, you say Paul. Paul. Take your time, excellent shot. Okay, break your gun. Okay, I'm gonna try again. If you just bring it up this way and come back over to where you're gonna start the gun. About here, good. Weight on that left foot. Look at the clay and call when you're ready. Paul. Well done. We'll try another one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I did say it works sometimes. Yeah, nearly. <laughs> it's not like a dartboard, they yeah. shoot back. <laughs> In your shoulder. That's good. Elbow about there, that's nice. Lean against your barrier. And when you start your gun slightly higher and when you're ready. Paul. Keep swinging smooth. Just a shade behind it, you stopped your gun. Okay, what happens? You come across, you took your nose to the left, and when you do that, the clay, your, light, your eye comes off the sight path of the, of the actual rib. Then the clay looks like it's further back than it is, so you think you're too far in front, so you stop and wait for the clay. Am I better off being in front of the clay? Keep the nose on the gun, shoot the front of the clay, keep the barrel moving, and it will do it for you. I'm going to open in a minute. Come on, let's do it for you. That's right, it, you got it, well done. Okay, right, try again, one more. Into your shoulder, nice deep breath, let it out and relax, and you must keep your nose on the gun and keep the gun moving. Paul. Keep your nose on, well done, excellent shot. Okay, so that's three out of four, that's quite good shooting, Steve. So do you, um, do you think you're going to be that good this weekend? Well, yeah, <laughs> I'd, like, I'd like to be that accurate if I could. Uh, so who are you actually playing? I've got play Adrian Lewis this weekend. Right, he's the, uh, he's the, the big guy, isn't he? Yeah, 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 Adrian, lovely guy, nice lad, yeah. but uh, you know, there's some tough draws and yeah. bad draws, you know, just depends on what you're gonna get, you know, yeah. the 16 seeds, you have to draw one of the seeds, so it's right, just the I way see, it yeah. is, but No, I'm looking forward to it. I don't play till Monday night, so I can watch a few games first Absolutely, as well. Absolutely, yeah, getting the, uh, the swing of things. Yeah. So what are you, um, when you're actually playing darts, I mean, is it like on the night you actually win or you, you might be on form that night or is it, you know, something where you you have a constant form at throwing the darts? Um, well, with the darts, I mean, obviously we will have a, have a practice. I mean, did you, is it the same with shooting? Do you have to practice before you, you know, a big tournament, like a, a big competition or something or, or would you just naturally just pick it up? Well, 
I don't do competitions anymore. When I did, I didn't have to practice. I was too good. <laughs> <laughs> That's what Eric used to say to me all the time. <laughs> no, what it is with shooting, it's pretty similar. You actually, um, you actually practice, but unless you have your own kind of ground, there's not many shooting grounds open during the week that you can go and practice, and it's quite expensive. Yeah. So what happens is, you know, you kind of practice at the weekend, maybe, um, maybe once in the week on a Wednesday, and then you just go out and you know just do your bit and hope yeah. you can. Um, but some people will shoot and shoot all their life and never get any further. Other people are natural, they can just pick a gun up, they shoot, they have no problems, they look at a clay. Um, I don't know what it's like with darts. I mean, do you actually think you should, uh, I mean, do you feel the dart? Do you feel that, you know, that's where I'm going to put it and you, you really concentrate on where you're bit, going? It's very similar to, I mean, everybody's got different guns, I suppose, they shoot with the same with yeah, darts. Everybody absolutely. Picks, everybody's darts are different, you know, suits, different yeah. weights and things. Yeah. It's probably the same with guns, you've got different weights and things. Mm -hmm. and. Um, so whatever suits you really and, and they've all got um, a different way of throwing as well so everybody's yeah. got a different stance as well I suppose mm. I suppose shooting though you, you've got to get that it's all the same right as, as well. guns yeah they have their yeah. own stance their own style of shooting uh, and that's what they work at and um, I mean some of the top guns in the country they travel around uh, and they do an awful lot of shooting um, you know they, they can afford to do it people who can't afford to do it they kind of just go out there and hope on the day they, they're gradually going to get better so it's cheap cheap you know. darts you just throw at the board all day long you haven't got to keep reloading <laughs> absolutely. have you absolutely <laughs> it's a bit one of a cheaper sport <laughs> okay let's have another couple of shots Steve make sure you haven't forgotten what I've taught you there's two cartridges in this time so what we're going to do now we're going to start exactly the same place we're going to come over shoot the clay hopefully we hit it come back another one's going to come straight after you won't have to call for it it's called following pairs okay. as soon as you fire one it's like being in the wild you'll shoot at a pigeon you'll scare another one out so you shoot at that one as well okay but this represents some form of game shooting or bird shooting whatever yeah, yeah. okay right okay you got your gun close it up gently never slam a gun because it could go off now raise your gun up go back to your point of impact which you can start here where you can start from when you're ready, you call for it. We'll go through it nice and steady. Pull. Oh. Keep moving. Excellent. Go back to where you was. Here it comes. Keep moving. Right. A little bit slow there. The reason for that, you lifted your head off the gun and you leaned back. I'm just look it up. Yeah. As soon as you lift your head up, do you remember what I said about turning your head to the left? Yeah. Well, that's what happens. When you lift your head off the gun, the clay looks higher, so you automatically lift the gun higher because you think you're below. Right, load up again, Steve. Two shots again. I'm going to try and replicate this shot now. Lean into the gun more. Now, on your second shot, you must keep your nose onto the gun, yeah? When right. you're ready. Oh! Keep moving. Come back. Keep your nose on the gun. Here it comes. Well done. Good second shot. Well done. You're doing very well. <laughs> Not too bad for you. For a dark player. <laughs> So how many times have you done it, apart from the times, you know, the, the couple of, uh, of times we've had together doing it? Um, well, my next door neighbour, he actually, uh, when I first moved in, uh, yeah. Mark, he uh, he said, do you fancy going shooting? Because he's got, he had a couple of guns, so probably three or four times. Oh, but, good, uh, yeah. I've never been yeah. a very good shot, but oh, well. you'll definitely help him here. You can change that now, <laughs> Steve. You'll be, going, you'll be challenging the dart players now. If they beat your challenge, to go shooting. We could do that, yeah. Come you on, could yeah. actually, yeah. Kind of We've got the space, get the dart players get down. Get the players up for a, for a competition, yeah. What we could do, actually, is have a nice giant dart board where they've got to throw the darts at it or whatever, and then they've got to shoot the clays at the same time. That'd be a good idea. Yeah, so we can kind of mix and match. You have a good competition. And then any then, of the players we don't like, we can just leave them out there. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can get your own back on the ones who beat you at the competition. <laughs> Definitely. How long did your tournament last this weekend? Um, it's on all week, so it starts Saturday. Oh, right. Um, there'll be uh, Saturday night, then there's one afternoon, Sunday afternoon, and yeah. then Sunday evening, then it's it's all evening for the rest of the week then. Oh, right, so you're up there for the whole week? Yeah, last year I, I got to the quarters last year, lost to Gary, Gary Anderson. Yeah. Um, but, you know, you never know on, uh, how everybody's going to play this week, so yeah. it's... Because he's suddenly kind of come back, Gary Anderson, and he went for a bit of a dull patch. Yeah, he's... And he's uh, seems to have started wearing glasses now, from what I can remember. He's always worn glasses, I know, yeah, a lot, a lot of them are changing now. I've been, yeah. I've been actually lucky. I, I, do, I need glasses for reading, um, yeah. but actually, on the, yeah. on the, on the dartboard, it's not too bad. Mm. And also, like with Gary, with it, he's got to get used to, obviously, throwing the dart and not... Because he gets so close to his eye, because yeah. the glasses are suddenly in the way. Yes, yeah. he's changed his whole style a bit. Yeah. Really. yeah. You not wear glasses? 
I used to. I was, I was quite short-sighted, and um, with shooting, it's it's bad news because they're a lot, a lot further away. Tell me, Wimwa, they do they sponsor you? Yeah, they're 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 the uh, dart sponsors. Yeah, they're actually we're launching a, a new product this year, new new set of darts. They'll be coming out September, October, October yeah. time. So I'm uh, looking forward to that. I've been playing a bit with them. I actually, had a nine dart with them the other week. So well done, well done. Um, they're going all right. Yeah. Um, but I don't know if I'll use them this week for the tournament. Right. I'm still in two miles. They're very similar to the old ones, but uh, a bit more yeah. grippier and, and different. Yeah. Do you ever do you ever play darts at all? Um, I probably played once when I was you know a teenager, once or twice, but I've never actually played. I'm gonna have to give you to give me a lesson in dart oh, that's playing. It. That's it. Yeah, we'll have I to. I don't uh, know if I'll be any good as you teach me this. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to have a meeting and um, in wherever you play darts, I don't know, pub or club, whatever it is. Um, do you practice at home or do you like go to pubs? Yeah, I've got, I've, got, I've got a darts sort of room where I, yeah. I, um, I practice and that lot. Um, yeah. I find, I mean, it's, I, I'm, I find it very hard to keep practicing all day long. Yeah. You know, I'd probably have half an hour here, an hour there. Mm. Yeah. Um, but um, it, it, people that know me, they know I don't practice that, that much. Know, yeah. Yeah, I you're mean, probably, I'm, you're a natural with darts. Well, I've been doing it like 40 years now. It's, yeah. it's sort of like you've had all your practice, haven't you? You know, but. Um, but but when, when you think, actually, you know, I, I was must admit I was reading up on you um, the other evening and I mean all the players I've seen you play whether they beat you or you beat them in the 90s I mean you, you know you was at the top of your form but um, you've actually come back you know 20 years later and you're still up with the top dart players yes it's, it's so trying incredible to, trying to stay with them really I mean I've never I, I haven't dropped out of 32 so I, I'm, I'm well happy with yeah. you know the way it's been and uh, uh, the world championship now next coming up at Christmas I think that's probably Maybe yeah. 25th on the trot, 26th on the trot. You know, there's only Phil that's yeah. played more than me. Yeah, no. Um, so as long as I can keep competing and, you know, staying it up in the top, top 32, you know, I'll yeah. be, uh, I'll be happy. You know, I but wish you luck. I think if my form drops too much, then I'll probably yeah. call it a day then. Yeah. And what, what do you think your success is? Um, I don't know. I think it's part of his natural ability, obviously, isn't it? But um, I don't know. I try to keep fit. Yeah, because I, I, I read a bit, you do uh, some marathons, I understand. Well, no, I got talked into one, yeah. No, it was right. a 10K with uh, yeah. my friend Dave Allen, but right. uh, um, I don't tend to, to <laughs> run, run, run as much now. I tend to swim a bit more now, so I'll probably go, go to the gym and yeah. do a little bit in the gym and then swim three or four times yeah. a week if I can. But it's got such a busy schedule, it's hard to fit anything in, really. You yeah. know, it's but you're in such good shape. I mean, for a man of your age, what, 50-something? 53 mid, now, 53. yeah, I know. I mean, at your it's age, you're in, you're in incredible shape, and um, so I don't think I'm wrong the other way, but you, you know, you've got a good physique <laughs> for your age, and is that part of your success, do you think? I think, you I think you've got to watch what you eat and drink, really. I mean, it's... Uh, I should you, try you, that. You know, <laughs> on the time, but... Um, yeah, I mean, I, I try, I, when I'm at home, I try to eat healthily, you know. Yeah, uh, good. I'm by the coast now, so I eat a lot more fish and things like that, yeah. so... Uh, yeah. yeah, I think everybody needs to look after themselves Absolutely. one way or the other, and I packed up smoking years ago, so that, well that was... Probably yeah. the best thing I, I could have done. Yeah. So, I mean, you see some of these dart players, they play darts, and um, I mean, they look like, how can I put it without being detrimental to them? Um, extremely overweight, a lot of them, and then they slim down, then they're extremely overweight, and you've stayed in that shape all the time. So well, I think I think a lot of the youngsters coming through now, they're, they're a lot more. That's because they're physical, young. Yeah. You know, 10 years' and, time, they uh, might find it different. <laughs> you know, I, I think it's going a bit more towards, you know, being, you've got to keep yourself Be fit, going. Yeah, because absolutely. we've got long days we, when we play the darts. Sometimes mm. you can be playing from 10 in the morning till 6, 7 in the evening. So it's, really? it's quite a long it's time. Quite a lot, yeah. And it's probably amazing how, how often you actually walk back and forth and, mm. and you're on your feet quite a lot in the day. Yeah. And that could be like three or four days in a trot. So yeah. you've got to be sort of have a bit of a fitness. I can believe it, yeah. So and also, do you get a sore shoulder? Or? No, 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 I don't. It's um, I do some exhibition shooting. I had a car accident. I damaged a disc in my neck, so I can't really shoot that much. But um, I shoot one-handed, one in each hand, you know, from the hip, that kind of thing. A bit of exhibition stuff, really. Oh, right. Um, but... You know that's uh, that's neither here nor there. You're gonna have know. to show us a bit of this. Isn't it? Oh yeah, look at my video on the uh, on the website. Oh so, definitely, um, yeah. It's it's a bit of a fun video, but yeah, so that's what it's all about. But I mean, I'm 65 now, and um, like you, you're at the top of your game. I'm at the top of mine. I travel quite extensively teaching people, and uh, and it's great. But in the end, you think to yourself, I'm very fortunate. Every day I wake up and I think I earn a living at what I love to do. Same with me. That's right. Yeah, yeah. and it, I've I've always loved the darts, so it, it's great to do a, to do a job that you love, and you know, yeah. like you say, 
I suppose you meet quite a few people in, in, in your job. Yeah, I mean, uh, I tend mainly now, um, I normally do well, anything from A-list celebrities to the Eastern royalty, you know, they, um, they're into their shooting big time now. Oh, and, right. um, it's great fun, it uh, pays good. You know, yeah. but um, yeah, you meet some interesting people. But um, what I like about them, they're not different from anybody else. They treat you as an equal, and which they've got no difference to. Well, that's what I like about the darts. You know, yeah. you go to a pub and, you know, you, most of the time they know you can play darts. It's more just associate, you know, having a, having a bit of a drink, social yeah. side of it. And, you know, people like to talk to you and find out about what you how you play the game yeah. and everything, so. Yeah, and your wife Nanette, does she mind you darting all over the place? Excuse well, the pun. Well, it's like, it's, it's like <laughs> I keep saying, there's worse jobs, isn't there? But it, yeah. you've got to treat it as a job sometimes because, yeah. you know, that's, that's the way it is. But it pays the bills. Well, that's it, exactly, sure. at the end exactly. of it. And uh, like I say, it, since Barry Hearn's come in and, and the money's gone higher and higher, you know, yeah. 10, 11 million prize money a year. You know, fantastic, it's, yeah. It's a great opportunity now. And even the youngsters, you know, they, they, they see it now when they see Michael Van Gerwen on the telly and yeah. players it's like that. Money. they they see them, I see, they want to get into it. Yeah. Get into it. That's right. Yeah. Does your wife like cook your breakfast before you leave in the mornings? Oh yes. You know, she did. She looks after me all the time. Oh yeah, good. Yeah. I said Washing to my clothes and everything. Brilliant. I said to my other half the other day, I think I'll have breakfast in bed in the morning. Said you better sleep in the kitchen then. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll have a couple of more shots, Steve, and I think we move on to something different then for the remainder of your lessons. You're doing incredible. Okay. Into your shoulder. Lean against that barrier. Start slightly more to you, that's it. You learn quick, Steve. Pull! Oh, sorry, it's my fault. When you're ready. Pull! Keep moving, now. Good, come back. Here it comes. Keep moving, now. That's it, well done. Well done, well, I think you've, uh, you've mastered this particular stand, so you're doing very well. Thank you. Excellent, well done. Get used to getting these shots out and all. <laughs> <laughs>